I can identify key features of the graph of the quadratic parent function. A quadratic equation looks like this. f of x, sorry, fx power of 2 plus 3x plus 3 equals 0. So the power of 2 makes it quadratic. So if you see any equation that has power of 2, that is a quadratic equation. What is a quadratic function? A quadratic function is a function that can be written in the form y equals ax power of 2 plus bx plus c, where a, b, and c are real numbers. This form is called the standard form of a quadratic function. So the standard form of a quadratic function is always y equals ax power of 2 plus bx plus c. There are two important things that has to be included in the standard form. The first thing is a, b, and c. The second one is the power of 2. What does the graph of a quadratic function looks like? The graph of the quadratic function is a u shaped curve and it's called a parabola. So there is a U-shaped curve facing upwards and facing downwards. The quadratic parent function, which is the simplest version of all quadratic function is f of x equals x power of 2 and y equals x power of 2. So these are just the two most important um, functions of the quadratic parent function. Here's an example. Which of the following is a quadratic function? Is it f of x equals x power of 2? Or is it y equals 2x plus 4? It is f of x equals x power of 2, which is a. Another example. Which of the following is a quadratic function? Is it f of x equals 12 minus 8x plus 2 power of 2? Or is it f of x equals negative 4x power of 7 plus 5x power of 4 minus 2x plus 10? It is the first one. So if you see any equation that has x power of 7 or power of 4, it is incorrect. It has to be x power of 2. Which of these following are quadratic functions? f of x equals x power of 2, or f of x equals x power of 2 minus 6x plus 5, or f of x equals 3x power of 2 minus 10, or f of x equals 12 minus 8x plus x power of 2. So it is actually every single one of them. You may ask why. Well, if you see x power of 2 in every equation, it is a quadratic function. Which of the following is the quadratic parent function? As we said, the quadratic function and the quadratic parent function are completely different. It is just the quadratic parent function is the simpler. So is this f of x equals x power of 2 or f of x equals x power of 2 minus 6x plus 5? where f of x equals 3x power of 2 minus 10, or is it f of x equals 12 minus 8x plus x power of 2? It is the first one. The simplest function out of all the quadratic functions is the parent function, and it is f of x equals x power of 2. Which of the following is the graph of the quadratic parent function? Is it A, the first one, or is it B, the second one? It is the first one because it's the quadratic parent function is always positive. And if you have a positive sign, it should be facing upwards. That's another subject, but if you have a positive A or X, the vertex and the, U sh the parabola should be facing up. And if the A is negative, it should be facing down. What is a quadratic parent function and what are its characteristics? So the quadratic parent function has many characteristics and some of them, the quadratic parent function is f of x equals x power of 2. And it is the simplest function in the quadratic function family. 
the graph of the function is a curve called a parabola. So you can see here the y-shaped curve is it is called a parabola. This is a parabola. Here's another characteristic. The vertex is the lowest or highest point on the graph of a quadratic function and it is the turning point of the graph. So as you can see here we have a vertex which is at 0, 0 and minimum at 0. So this vertex is the turning point of the graph. It can be facing up and down. It depends on the sign. Here is another characteristic, the axis of symmetry. The axis of symmetry intersects the vertex and divides the parabola in half. So we have this parabola and there is a characteristic it, and it is called the axis of symmetry. And what it does, it, it is just a straight line which intersects the vertex as you can see here and it divides the parabola in equal halves. The quadratic function in standard form is y equals ax power of 2 plus bx plus c. As I said before, you should be fo focusing on two points. The first thing is the quadratic function in standard form should have a, b, and c. And it should have a power of 2. The a is the leading coefficient, as I said, and the c is the y-intercept. So the a is the leading coefficient, and what we mean by that is if the a is a positive sign and you're going to draw the parabola line on the graph, if it's positive, the graph will be facing up, and if it's negative, the graph will be facing down. And it has something to do with the vertex line. Thank you.